Hello! Uh, hi there! It's me, it's Dave. How's it going, my friends? God bless you. Thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for spending some time with me today because we are going to be discussing the most optimized way that you can reach max level within Street Fighter 6. I think that this is a topic that many people are not familiar on, given my experiences in the Battle Hub. There are some people who are max level, like myself, level 100. However, there's a great majority of players who are sub 100. They are lower leveled, and I am making this video in the hopes that it reaches some Street Fighter 6 fans, that they are able to utilize the knowledge here to get to max level. There are some reasons why you would want to be max level. Not only do you get the greatest amount of stat buffs, at level 100, at level 100, you're going to have your punch strength, kick strength, throw strength, all of the different strengths. They are going to be maxed out. So if you are trying to do anything in World Tour, it becomes a lot more easier once you are at max level. Also, you would want to be max level to take on those high level challengers in avatar battles avatar battles are super cool it's like create your own fighter and fight other people with that but you would want to be at max level for this so we are going to be taking a look at some gears that you would want to equip specifically on your way to grinding to level 100 as well there are some things to note before you even attempt getting level 100. The first prerequisite, I guess it's a soft prerequisite, not entirely necessary, but you should be racing through the world tour mode main mission campaign, the main story quests. Get those done as quickly as possible because you will be in a better position to gain all of the maximum style ranks. You would want to have every single person on the roster at level 20 because once you have unlocked level 20 for a particular master, you are able to challenge that master again for a rematch and get the maximum amount of avatar experience in the game there are several kinds of experience in the game there is style experience there is avatar experience and further to that there is experience that could be applied to gear pieces we are talking about profile xp but you would want to have max style xp because this is the only way you can have the rematches also, like many things in the game, you are always going to want to have a buff. Particularly a food buff active. Now, in terms of getting profile XP, the best food that you can purchase in the game is pot Oh, fur. You must have the pot of fur. This is going to give you a large EXP gain boost. Contrast that with the with the uh, style XP food buffs that you could get from blueberry smoothie, choice sushi, french fries, uh, chicken curry. <laughs> Why do I know this stuff? Hard senbei. This is giving you style XP, but you are going to want to start using pot au feu once you have already completed max style rank for every master. So Potafa, purchase it. Gotta have this buff always active. Now, the other thing that you're going to want to do is face these masters. The masters will offer you a chance to spar again. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Do we lose? <laughs> Do we lose? So I don't have my particular build equipped. You need to have the build equipped as well. Oh, hot damn, Manon. Manon, you're killing me. I think she'll kill me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta have... See, so like these rematches with the fighters, they are very tough. They're also the highest level repeatable matches that you can have in the game. NPCs will be around level 50, but all of these... <laughs> wow, we're alive. All of these masters, they're going to be pretty tough. They have hard difficulty AI as well. They are high level, very strong. <laughs> very tough. So we're going to be exploring a build that will help out with the process of killing these masters. Oh, Lord. It's very tough, though, if you're not optimized. Okay, as you can see, tough match. And this is because we're not wearing the proper gear pieces. So you're going to want to have the proper gear pieces. If you see there, we got a quick 2,000 XP from fighting the master. You can greatly increase that amount to 11,000. And we're going to be talking about how. But first, I think it's important that we take a look at the gear pieces that you need to have. So this is my crazy, crazy pain build. A build of sorts. Because it allows you to deal extra damage whenever you punish the opponent. As you can see in the right hand side of the screen, we have several perks that are available to us. Peak performance, which gives you a medium damage boost off of the fighter's hoodie top. This particular sweater hoodie is going to give you a nice damage boost of medium whenever you're above 70% health. Do keep in mind whenever you fight the master, you're starting at 100% health. Uh, not the health that you're carrying over in the uh, overworld. But the other items that are very important here are Yuo's Belt. Yuo's Belt gives you Fatal Counter. Applies when countering. Outgoing damage boost XL. Incoming damage boost L. So whenever you are punishing the opponent, not only are you going to experience the regular damage boost from landing a punish attack, you're also going to get an XL damage boost from Fatal Counter off of Yuo's belt. How do you even say that? I'm not sure. And since the game does not restrict you on running duplicates or triplicates with the accessories, you can actually have three of these Uo's belt all giving you a nice XL damage boost whenever you counter. Important to get this Uo's belt only obtainable in Russia. The other item here that's really important with the build is Spartan Helmet. Also gives you the Fatal Counter ability, but on the helmet too. So you have four of the same perks. Really crazy. Now that we have the actual um, build <laughs> equipped, we should be able to get easier wins. Because those matches with the Masters, they can be pretty tough. All right, so very fun. We are going to Metro City. Do you keep in mind that we have the Pot Ofa food buff active? It's only active for 300 seconds. And if you run out of it during a match, the XP that you gain at the end of the match won't see the benefit of the food buff. So you want to make sure that you finish your matches within those five minutes. Don't 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 dawdle so let's face luke now one thing to really appreciate about these rematches with all of the masters 
this is a great way for you to not only get experience, but there are some exclusive items that are sort of tied to these rematches or matches in general with the fighters or with the masters. So let's take on Luke here. We have the proper perks active. <laughs> Do you see that? It is it is so much damage. Very, very, very high in damage. Let's go for a large boost with the Mighty Jaw Destroyer. So one of the things that you need to uh, uh, take the time before going into a match or doing anything in a match with a master is you have to pay attention to the battle conditions. Because if you satisfy the battle conditions, you will get a lot of XP. So as you can see, 1900 for just winning a round, 3250 if you use an item with a debuff effect, and another 3250 if you defeat with a super art. Well, we're not close to the super art yet. But using a debuff item, if you're not familiar, you can also satisfy that requirement with a mighty jaw destroyer, which will increase your damage, but will also increase damage that you take for 30 seconds. But we defeated him flawlessly. Keep in mind that first match with Manon without the proper gears, it can be tough. Oh, he's got me. But that's good because we kind of need to get um a super. We did not get a super throughout that whole time. But yes, at lower levels, I'm at level 100. If you're at lower levels, when you're doing this whole process, you might begin around level 70. Around level 70, level 80, you should have all of the masters at rank 20 so that you can have these rematches. But at level 70, level 80, you're also dealing less damage. So you won't see as much effect from the build. Uh, that'll allow you to gain a super. Because you really do need to use the super to um, get more experience from every master along the way. So let's go visit Ken. Yes, I think. It's been a while since I've been exploring the world tour, so I kind of forgot where Ken is. Now, with every master, there is a special battle condition. So we saw with Luke, it was use an item with a debuff effect. For Ken, I already know that it's use reuse style. So we're going to use reuse style. And hopefully we can kill him really quickly. But the goal here is to get through these matches as quickly as possible. Get whatever XP you can and move on. I kind of want him to hurt me so I can get the super. Give me the... Let me do the super, sir. Yes. So, as you can see, we unlocked a t-shirt. We got XP. We got more XP. So, with all of these matches with the master... They will have the similar requirement of defeat the opponent, defeat with a super art. And not to mention, we got one of the fancy items that you can only acquire from these rematches, the Ken t-shirt. So if you're a Ken fan, you would want to do these things anyways, so that you can get some fancy rewards. Okay, I guess all we have to do now is kill, because we got the super... Oh, he's going for the low, so I'm trying to use Gladius from Marissa. Oh! Oh no, he nailed me. So this is where you can also see that if you are getting punished, you will take a lot of damage. 
but also deal a lot of damage. Okay, so uh, we should address, like, general strategies. You would want to go to France, get the pot of fur as quickly as possible. Then you would want to visit all of the masters in Metro City. There's six of them. You would want to see all of them. Then go on to Old Nashelle and then visit the rest of the masters as you please. You don't necessarily need all of the masters unlocked, but you need a good enough number of them so that you can go quickly from match to match, get your XP, and by the end of the cycle you can just go back to the first one, which would usually be Manon, because she's in France with the food, and then repeat. Rinse and repeat. You should be at level 100 within a couple of hours, which is very, very cool. I mean, it might take closer to 10 hours to get all of the XP that you need. At level 80, levels are separated by about 16,000. By level 99, you're going to need 76,000. So there is somewhat of an exponential scale applied to gaining XP but I think like the thing that is really important is that you need to understand what to do before going into these matches because satisfying the battle conditions or knowing to not go after the battle conditions it, it will save you time in the process so this is going to be the special battle conditions part of this so Luke use an item with a debuff Jamie use no item manon land four command throws this is good with the menage dore from manon style kimberly use drive impact armor to absorb hits this one's pretty hard i, I would suggest ignoring it for kimberly marissa Break the opponent's armor. A lot of Marissa's moves are armored, so just make sure you have like a multi-hitting attack, like hundred kicks or um or overdrive arts. Those will break armor too. Um, okay, uh, Lily, punish five times. Once you get higher in level, it's gonna be harder to accomplish this against Lily because you'll just kill her flat out. Not cool. JP, hit with two cross-ups. You're going to have to jump over the opponent and go for, like, jump light punch in order to really get this um, requirement fulfilled. Jury, use an item with a debuff effect. DJ, deal a combo that deals 8,000 damage. Why do I remember this? I may be wrong. If I'm wrong about this stuff, do correct me. Um, Cammy. Oh, I you know I do, I don't remember Cammy's. What's, what's Cammy's? Aerial attack. Oh, uh, you know what? We'll just face Cammy. Ryu, perfect parry two times. And Ryu is a character that you would want to visit because he gives you the fierce gi top and fierce gi bottom. Which is nice. You know, it's rare. So if you want something with a fancy perk, this one gives you extra drive gauge regen. Fierce Gi top. The Fierce Gi bottoms would recommend picking up from Ryu because they give you the last last stand uh, buff, which gives you a large damage boost if you're ever at low health. It's actually preferable to run it if you want over the regular basketball pants but if you prefer the extra defense you can go for the bas uh, fighter pants that um, have no perk but extra defense let's swap back all right um, and back to the masters their special battle conditions e Honda trade hits Two times? Three times? Blanca land five drive impact reversals. I find that one difficult for myself, so I always skip that one. Um, Guile, land a ten hit combo. Ken, defeat with reuse style. Chun-Li, cancel the opponent's projectiles two times. 
Zangief. Y counter two times. This one can be kind of tricky because I find that a lot of the counters in the game sometimes don't register. So I actually have two equipped to handle Zangief. He has Scutum or uh, Marissa has Scutum. This gives you a parry that you can hold. It's, it's very nice. Also very powerful with this build. And Amnesia from JP. This gives you like a parry bomb delayed attack. It's kind of complicated. But yes, this one counts towards the parry as well. I prefer Scutum. But sometimes Scutum's hits don't register. So that's unfortunate. Um, back to the Masters. So Zangief is also another one that you would want to fight because he gives you bikini bottoms. So you can acquire bikini top throughout the story mode, but bikini bottoms are also nice for the complete look. Oh, we can just go to the look. Apply all. Bikini. If you want the bikini. Yes, this is how you would get it. You would get it from Zangief. Also good if you want to get multiple colors of the bikini. Swap it around. But let's go back to our fancy crazy pain build. And, oh yeah, the last one. Dalsim. Cancel opponent's projectiles ten times. That one's kind of ludicrous. You might want to just ignore it. Because you might kill Dalsim before you cancel projectiles ten times. But this is probably the part of the game that is going to drain your flight tickets the most. Because every time you fight a master, you're gonna want to make sure that you visit France beforehand to get the pot of a food buff. Without it, it there is a significant decrease, a noticeable decrease in the amount of avatar XP gained per fight. But let's get the food. Okay, and let's visit Cammy. Because I actually could not remember her battle condition. All of the other ones, though, face them a lot. Cammy, though, I think it's. Hmm. But if you're if you're if you're realizing the pattern here, all of the battle conditions are the battle conditions that you face against NPCs. Just different categories of them. Okay. All of the different categories. Okay, let's fight Cammy. <laughs> it does so much damage. Hit with 12 jumping attacks while opponent is jumping. <laughs> okay, that's why I didn't remember it. Because uh, uh, who's going to do that? So sometimes some of the requirements will give you like an item. But there are, are times when all of the requirements will give you just XP. That would be the ideal situation. But getting the max from a particular master, it's around 11,000 plus the food buff. So you're getting lots of XP if you satisfy all of these battle conditions. It's really easier to just get through it quickly though, so that's why I recommend using the build that I've got here. Okay, so we showed off the Gladius, but like I said, there's another way of really using the build. Ah. Ooh, Cammy. Uh. So that's the parry. The parry is really powerful. Scoot him. You can just go for the parry or go for the gladius. You're going to kill the opponents really quickly with the build. But in terms of getting to max level, it's pretty much that process. 
over and over till you're there. So I think that it should be easy for absolutely everyone to reach max level with the stuff that we covered here. You're going to want to make sure that you have your masters at style rank 20, that you're able to have those rematches over and over consistently with them. You're going to want to make sure that you go to France and you're getting that lovely food because it will give you a nice buff to XP. And uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have the build that I'm using to essentially one-shot these masters. You could use... Um, damage buff items within the battle to really one shot but then you're not doing the battle conditions so i think that this is a good balance and triple uo's belt so uo is here in russia and you may be lucky to get his item or you may just get one of these debuff items you're gonna have to cycle through russia a number of times before you can get three of Uo's belt. Here you can see we could unlock Sawu's belt. But Sawu's belt is not useful for the build. Only Uo's build, uh, belt. But yeah, super, super cool. I hope that you found this, like, helpful? Informative? Because, uh, yeah, it would be nice to see more level 100s in avatar battle yes please do challenge me if you are playing street fighter 6 please do join the jaded rabbit club on street fighter 6 yes you can join our little guild would be lovely to have you very fabulous but also don't forget about leaving a like a comment a subscribe it really helps out with the algorithm i would love to hear from you if you used a different strategy to get to level 100 let me know about it i think that there is wonderful opportunities in sharing the knowledge the more that we learn about the game together the better that we can all play the game save time, optimize the process, etc. would be lovely to hear from you. Also, please consider supporting the channel by joining the Jade Bunny family. My brothers and sisters help keep the channel alive. Also, you get access to family-only PvP events. Infinite Time Crystal Glitch for MK11. Number one strategies for single player of MK11. Yes, please do join. Would be lovely. Much love to John Lee. <laughs> my precious brother, but all of my other brothers too, and sisters. <laughs> John Clark, Danny Slaw Energizer, Pro Gamer, J4, Among Us Gamer, Kenneth, GCXBU Gaming, Cara D, Coca Majo, AG Miller, Coffee Gamer, Lucy Little Thunder, Boots Alexander, Jonah, Eric, Glowy, Blood Ferox, Chaka Corn, Ari, Michael K, Darkside, Trocar, Ghoul, Mark Danny, O Gamer, Michael G, Swish Bish, Ill Kid, Snoopy Blind FGC, Albus Christus Mortis, Yuri, Erdem, Calum, JJ, Dr. Eggman, Alina, Asynonix85, Alan, Siderem, Ragnar, Rian Chaos, and Queen melina yes uh, thank you thank you thank you my brothers and sisters it means the world all right let's see what you guys are saying shane i have been having trouble on how to level up well hopefully this answered all of your questions this is the strategy to get to level 100 very quickly um john hello sean the mortal Kombat dragon symbol is my new wallpaper very cool yes i am hyped for mk1 hopefully it comes soon joe hello dave hello joe thank you thank you thank you my friends love you all so much you've made it to the end god bless you thank you for spending some time with me today but i am praying for you to be max level in whatever game you're playing Level 500 and MK11. Yes, we need more of those. But until next time, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye, my friends. Take care. Peace. Love you guys.